The parents we surveyed said that 52% of their athletes fail to do their mental rehearsal prior to competition. Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. I'm going to talk today about the importance of mental preparation and specifically mental rehearsal and how your athletes can use this skill to help them prepare for competition. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So one of the factors that go into mental preparation is the ability to use mental imagery. And there's been lots of research done in sports psychology about the benefits of, of mental imagery. And by the way, many athletes will use mental imagery uh, automatically. It's just built into their system. I remember when I played high school football and hockey and lacrosse, I would actually mentally rehearse what I was going to do for each play as I was walking up to the line. And so that helped me kind of solidify in my mind what's my role in that play and what I'm going to do. It's also a source of, for, your, for athletes confidence if they can see it in their mind or they can feel what they're going to do successfully before they go out onto the field, that can help uh, build their confidence as well. What we know is that it actually fires the neural pathways that are involved in actual motor performance, but it does it covertly when athletes are using mental rehearsal. So it's really just a dry run of what they do without the uh, overt physical movements. Um, mental rehearsal for your athletes, they can mentally rehearse their game plan before they go out. For example, they can uh, visualize how they're gonna play the tennis match and some of the shots they're gonna use and the tactics they're gonna use. Um, they can also use it in a pre-shot situation where they can also visualize what they're gonna do prior to a shot, prior to a pass, for example, or prior to a serve. Um, so there's many, many uses of mental rehearsal or visualization for your athletes, but basically you want your athletes to be able to use this skill in their own preferred learning style. What that means is they might not be a visualizer, they might not be primarily visual, they may be more kinesthetic or they may be more auditory. And you wanna find out and tap into what is their preferred learning and performing style and then integrate that into their pre-game mental imagery. So I hope that was helpful. This tip is uh, based upon a new program that we'll be launching. The new program is called 10 Minute Pre-Game Prep, Eight Mental Strategies for Young Athletes. Here they'll learn the most important mental strategies within 10 minutes before the game. So they listen to the audio and they get uh, mentally ready and learn how to have good mental preparation prior to their game. Thanks. Hey, if you want more information about the, how the mental game applies to your young athletes, jump over to youthsportspsychology.com, click on the link below this video, and you'll be taken to a page where you can download a free ebook titled 10 Tips to Improve Confidence and Success in Young Athletes. Head over there now, it'll be worth it.